guys and dolls and welcome back to Lily Georgia or welcome if you're new I'm very happy to have you today we are going to be doing a makeup tutorial now it's been a while since we've done a makeup tutorial on my channel and I originally started my channel doing makeup so I'm really excited to get back into this so we're gonna be using some Morphe products today this is the 24a artist pass past palette and we're gonna be also using the Morphe Peach Setting Mist. So if you want to see how this turns out, then keep on watching. A few moments later. Okay, so first of all, hi. This is a stunning palette. Like, look at all the range of, that, of those colors. So pretty, I love them. So I already started with my foundation. Um, I always, you guys know, I always do my foundation off camera because it's just quicker and easier. Um, but I am using the Too Faced Born This Way in the shade Warm Nude. So, I'm just going to be putting my concealer on now and use the Tarte um, Shape Tape. But now I'm obsessed and I use the Jeffree Star Magic Concealer in the shade C7. So I am using the Jeffree Star Magic Star on my face because it's really good. Everybody feeling currently, you know, because it's a very trying time right now and it's kind of a very scary time too. So I don't even know how people are feeling right now, but I'm not feeling the best. Not gonna lie. Sorry guys, I had to schedule in my dentist appointment because I haven't been to the dentist in a year. <laughs> so, that should be interesting right now. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> I literally look insane right now. Oh my god. Okay, anyway. So we're going to be blending this in with a beauty blender. Tana Mojo's new video. And it hit different. I related a lot to it. Like, I can't go into too much detail, but if you watch that video, you understand why I relate to it. So I just think it's so crazy what she's been through as well. I really like her though, still. My lights have been trying to fall for the past few days, so this better not fall when I'm filming because I'll get really annoyed. And I'm not trying to start no house fires right now, so. My god, the things that I have to do right now. Ugh, my god. Can you just stay? Like, could you just not stay? Like, why can't you just stay for like the duration of the video? Like, why do you have to be difficult right now? Blending this into the face. Okay, now we're gonna go in with some powder and this is a powder that I recently started using and I'm obsessed with it because it's really really good and this is gonna be the Magic Star Translucent Setting Powder from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. It's so good and I'm just gonna be going in with this powder brush. I'm just gonna be applying this all over the face on the areas that we put our concealer and just kind of Anywhere that we feel necessary to put powder. Really just like pat it on. This is what I learned from makeup school is um, patting on the powder instead of swiping the powder because then it like swipes the foundation. So just pat it on like a beautiful little massage that you can wake yourself up in the morning. I say morning, it's nearly like 12 p.m. Like, hi. How are ya? Mmm, this feels really relaxing. Now we're gonna go in with our contour. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. I have not stopped using this since I even had a channel on YouTube. I have had this for so long, like you can tell, like, it's nearly, it's at its end, so. <laughs> Y11 brush. I love the gold brushes that they have, so I got myself like a little, a few of these gold ones because I really like the look of them. 
And then I'm just gonna be mixing these two darker shades right now and just putting it on the face where it needs to be. So I like to do a three shape. So I start off like right here. I know it looks a little bit dark, but we'll blend it out. And then I do a three right here. And do a three right there. A tip for contouring as well is if you smile and you make a line like right here in like the little apples of your cheek, you make a line under it, that's also a way to contour too. So, tips and tricks with Lily Georgia. We added in the Benefit California blush and I'm just going to be putting this on my face with another Morphe brush. This is a Y5 brush. I like to have a lot of blush, so that's why I'm like really packing it on right now. I'm just going to put it on the apples of the cheeks. How it would normally go, you know? Okay. So we have blush on and now we're going to do um, baking. So we're going to go back in with that Jeffree Star powder again. just gonna take a wet Real Techniques brush and we're just gonna pack this onto our face. Anywhere that we have put the concealer, we're gonna put it in our face. Okay, so it's gonna also get a little bit messy, so just keep that in mind. So I'm gonna put that under the eye, under the other eye. <sighs> I love this powder, but when you do baking, it kind of goes up your nose and it's kind of sweet, so. <laughs> I will say that, but it's 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 necessary, you know. I'm going to be doing our eyebrows, so I normally go in with the Benefit Browsings in the shade four, which is the darkest one. Bearing in mind, I used to have brown hair, so that's why this is super dark. But I just liked my eyebrows to be dark anyway, so I'm just going to go in with this brush. So I'll conceal that again and I like to put it on my eyes and underneath my eyebrows and it kind of just cleans up any areas of like mess and it kind of just makes them a little bit more equal you know but brows are meant to be sisters not twins unless you have microbladed brows then you can talk but like yeah I need to get these boys microbladed like long term I don't have to deal with them anymore you know what I mean so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna blend that into the eye and the eyebrow and kind of bring it down into one. And then it should look better. Okay, so now I'm happy with my brows. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, wipe off all this powder and then we can start on the eyeshadow. Up with the Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm just going to be using the white shade right here as a base for my eye. And I'm just going to be putting that all over the lid. Now I'm going to be using the brown shades, all of them together mixed and then just putting that on my eye. 24A Artist Pass Palette. I'm actually going to be using the same brush again and we're going to go into the shade called Desert Vibes. Onto the lid. Okay, and now we're going to be taking a smaller brush. We're going to be taking a Morphe E17 brush and we're going to be taking the shade Security. The outer corner of the eye. Do a take off finger 
and we're going to take the shade Wild out. It's very creamy, which I really like. It's, it's like a creamy, buttery formula, and I'm just going to put this straight onto the lid. The other side too. The eye, and we're going to apply the concealer again underneath the eye. And this is how I get my like white look underneath. I really like it to be white. And then just like cleaning up any like pigmentations of anything else that you don't want to see covered again. Like kind of reconcealing everything if there is anything that you can see that is not covered and you see that again. So, we're just going to be blending that in a little sponge. And what we're going to do is go into the powder, the Jeffree Star powder, and we're just going to put that underneath the eye, kind of set that concealer in place again. Okay, right here for a little bit more of a definition. Perfect. The other eye. Okay, and now we want to add some mascara. I'm going to be using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I would put lashes, but I think because this looks very like glittery by itself, it doesn't really need anything else. Again. With the eye that we had started up here. You're kind of just going to connect it. You know, we need to do the inner corner highlight. So I'm going to do Morphe M321 brush and I'm going to be using front row. And also a mixture of front row and Jeffree Star Wet Dream from the Jeffree Star Supreme Frost, which is a perfect combo. And I'm just going to put this into the inner corner, like so. So it'll look like that. It's so the front row and the Supreme Frost as a really nice combo into the eye. There we go, that's what we want. Yeah. Um, this is the Morphe M510 brush. Um, I'm going to go in with the front row shade right here. And then I'm going to put it all over my cheekbones and where desired, where I want to put it. The Jeffree Star Supreme Frost, which I haven't put on yet, but I will later. I'm going to kind of create this line down my nose because I'm going to be nose contouring too. Okay. I do a little bit here too. Supreme Frost. Which really takes it up a notch, you guys. Like it really does. Hi, how are ya? Hi, how are ya? Love it. Oh, it's so beautiful. A little bit here and a little bit here. I'm drawing now. This is just a brush. Going with the Anastasia Beverly Hills, same brown shade that we used before. Brun, if you will. I don't know if that's brown in French, but yeah. I'm actually gonna look that up. I'll be very surprised if I got that right because I can't remember any French at all. Mm -hmm. From when I had to learn it. 
I'm gonna look a bit little, little bit silly right now, but it will make sense like after a while. Now what we're gonna do is take that uh, highlighting brush again, and we're just gonna take the Supreme Force and just put a little bit of it down the nose again. So we just create that really like defined line. Like hi, how are ya? Okay. That. And now we're gonna go in with the contour just one last time. Because my 11 brush, I'm taking the Anastasia kit. I'm just gonna bring it where it needs to go. And now my most favorite part of this whole entire tutorial and probably the most beneficial one is gonna be this next part. So it's really, really listen and look closely. So we're gonna be taking a lip brush, just any lip brush that you have here with you. Then we're gonna be taking two different lipsticks and a lip gloss, any kind of color you want. Preferably nude lipsticks, okay? And then any kind of like pink colored gloss or anything you have. This is the Well Lipstick by MAC. You're gonna take the Well Lipstick. It needs to be a darker shade than what you would normally put on your lips. You're gonna take it with the lip brush and you're gonna put it on the outlining of your lips. You're gonna line your lips with a darker lip shade. Okay, so my lips are now lined and what you wanna do is then take this lip brush again and you're gonna be taking like a, a lighter nude color. This is Creme de Nude by MAC. And I just take it with my brush. You just take it with your brush right here, like that. And you're gonna put it on your lips and just outline. My lights are falling, I seriously don't even care right now. So you just line the inside of the lips with this color or with any light color lipstick that's still a nude. And then you wanna take a lip gloss. This is the Jeffree Star lip gloss in the shade Iridescent Throne. And you wanna put a little bit in the center. And that's how I've been lining my lips recently and I absolutely have felt, fallen obsessed with the way it looks. It looks so good. I love it so much. And now what we're gonna do for the final steps um, is we're gonna do our eyebrow highlight. We're gonna put powder on and then we're gonna set and we'll be finished. Brush do I want? I think I want. This is so beautiful. This is from Amazon. I love it. So this is a Morphe M330 brush and we're gonna be taking, so you know what, I'm gonna be taking the All Axis shade by Morphe which is like a silvery white. Yeah, okay. And I'm gonna be putting it right underneath the brow bone like that. This is All Access by Morphe. It's right there. Okay, beautiful. And now we're just gonna be putting on our powders and like setting everything on the face. So I'm gonna be taking a Morphe Y2 brush, which is my favorite powder brush to use as well as the one that I use today. I'm just gonna be taking a little bit of the Jeffree Star as my next powder, putting it all over the face, just dabbing it really, really lightly all over the face. And then I'm gonna be taking, now this is if I'm shooting or I'm doing anything um, like later if I'm filming a video, I'll put this on because this makes um, everything not as shiny. So we do this as well, cause I'm gonna be filming some more stuff today. And then I normally use the MAC, Pre or MAC set spray, I can't remember what it's called. 
a MAC Fix Plus, that's it. Um, but I've been using the Setting Mist by Morphe and it smells like peaches, which smells incredible. I will tell you that now. Um, so I'm just gonna spray this all over my face. Hi, how are ya? It smells so good and it actually sets the face like properly like well. And then a little a little extra tip that I like to do is I like to use the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist, which I'm gonna go and get right now and show you kind of how it looks as well on the face. I like to use this also as my setting spray because it blocks in the makeup and it also makes you look really, really, really sh shiny and glowy all day. And it's a really good setting spray to use as well. Like, hi. Okay, so that is everything for today's makeup tutorial. I do, I do hope that you enjoyed this makeup tutorial and watching me apply this makeup and kind of following the steps bit by bit. I hope that you did enjoy all these tips and tricks that I have put on my face today to show you. And I hope that I brought you some entertainment and made you smile and laugh in this crazy time. So please subscribe, it really helps me out a lot. Thank you to all my recent subscribers. You know who you are, I love you. Like this video, share or comment. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye my loves.